Hey guys, it's Jason St. Povic here, Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. Quick tip for you, a tip from the tree stand just came down here. We're going to talk about uh, when deer snort at you. Does it ruin it? Should you get out of there? What should you do? And uh, tonight's a perfect example that don't I don't pay any attention to it. I could care less if they snort. It's not going to make any difference. It's not going to ruin your spot. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, tonight I was on a point here and uh, these three pines right here are the only usable trees here then I thought maybe with the size and the diameter of them it would hide me pretty well and I'd be in pretty good shape and I climbed up on there and I just happened to be there and I was looking I looked to my left I looked to the right and I went to stand up and I stood up and as soon as I did boom snorting right here 10 yards behind me Behind the tree, she just looked right up at me to steer with this doe stomping her feet, snorting, throwing a fit. She hopped back into the woods about another probably, um, I don't know, I want to say she went back in there another 15, 20 yards into the, stu the thick stuff right there where I couldn't shoot. And she just kept popping and popping and snorting and blowing and making all kinds of racket and driving me crazy. And she did that for about probably, I'm going to say it was probably pushing, I'm going to say it was probably pushing 10 solid minutes that she stood there and she would pace back and forth and snort and snort and stomp and throw a fit and I was like okay well it, hopefully she just takes off pretty quick because she's already pretty upset and then so finally got rid of her she she wandered off and left put my tab in here so I don't lose it I gotta pick up my judo over there um but so she wandered off and uh and took off out of there 15 minutes later I had three does come by same exact area that they were I let them walk right past me right here 10 yards, I let all three of them go, which normally I would never do. I would not let those does go, but I was really hoping that there was going to be a buck bedded over here on this point, was going to come out of it, so I was kind of letting it go, hoping that I get a set of horns to come through there. Uh, so I let those three does walk by, and then about 15 minutes after that, I had two more does come by on this side, and they cut up right on this trail right here, about eight yards from me. I let those does go too. Starting to regret my decision on that completely. Um, and uh, But again, hoping for a set of horns. And, uh, and those guys came by and then I saw two does come by this way out here. They were 50, 60 yards away so I could have never shot them. And then there was a very small basket rack, I'm guessing probably a six, that came out from this side, came over here, and I seen them through the binoculars probably 40 yards, 50 yards across and cut in, and I could see spots of them where he cut through the gaps in there. And uh, so I couldn't count the points, but it was a nice little buck, but a little one. And, uh, and that was it for the night. But all that activity had happened within, you know, an hour and a half or so of that doe being here that busted me stomping and stomping and stomping right here like crazy throwing an absolute fit here and uh those deer still like i said they could, i mean she stomping the ground snorting wheezing blowing and we're on a point that stuff that carries through this swamp forever every deer in the area knew that she was here it made zero difference or maybe it made difference and that buck didn't come by because of that but maybe he's not out there i haven't seen him since you know i've been coming down here you know it's 20 minutes after dark um, but like I said, I, I don't worry about the snorting. I, I don't care about it. It's not going to hurt nothing. I've had it happen so many times. You're going to bump deer, blow deer. You're going to bust deer. They're going to come in downwind to you. Things are going to happen with deer all the time. Don't let it worry you. Don't get discouraged by it. Just blow it off. Be happy that deer are in the area and you saw them. And then continue on with your hunt. There's a good tip for you. Thanks. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye.